This is Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. Welcome to Tea Time, and like I always say, we usually make time out to get you the most interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ifeo Shunkaya. And of course, I've got... Um, how do I introduce her now? She's a veteran. Yes, I can say that. She spent over 20 years in the industry. And um, I've also have, I also have a chef in the house, Chef Bene. And um, we're basically using this opportunity to talk about Superstar and also their lifestyle. Thank you all for being here. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Where do we start from? So um, I think before we get into Superstar, like that's is it superstar or superstar 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 celebrity superstar 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 okay so um <laughs> there was something i saw online recently i think we talked about it on tea time where you talked about um someone coming to your house to threaten you do you want to clarify that that was a joke that was just something my friend and i were messing around with mm -hmm. you know I, I did put up a video the next day mm -hmm. you know, explaining you, because it was I kind of got a lot of reactions from that like it was everywhere yeah I mean I'm surprised people take these things really seriously yes they do we love you <laughs> <laughs> you know, she actually there was a video where we, we went to see a film mm -hmm. so um, my girl apparently my girl at home was videoing and then Uchi Jumbo and the rest of my friends that I was with she was like I mean I put out the video and <laughs> I was just threatening her that, look, I'm going to release the video because mm. she was threatening that, oh, if, if she sees the video online, uh, she's going to get all of us arrested. It was just a joke. So I said, okay, so you come to my house to threaten me, right? Mm. And I honestly, I, people need to be very careful what they put out on social media yeah. because, I mean, that thought me a lot. Mm. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that thought me a lot. Like, you can't just mess around. And, Anymore. Yeah, because it was alarming, the reaction I got. I'm like, okay, it was a joke. But well, because you're yeah, so somebody that hasn't been um, faced with a lot of negativity on social media, not a lot, or maybe you don't react, but I would like to know, how do you react to negativity when it comes your way, like trolls and people just want to say rubbish on your page? How do you react? Um, first of all, I mean, I don't think anyone should expect your reactions to always be positive. Hmm. I have so many positive reactions to look at the negative ones. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, if I have over a thousand five hundred comments on that my on that picture that I put out, and and eighty five percent is positive, why would I want to pay attention to the other? Hmm. You know, so that's so, how you keep your sanity. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's just it just is it, it makes more sense to me. I don't like to bother my head about what people really think, or I mean, it's okay. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, but. You know, I don't, I, I, I can't influence how you feel about me, and I feel like you have a right to what you feel. Uh, is coming on my page to express how you feel. It's not so. It's not something that it, that is very tolerable, but it's just something that is also inevitable. You really uh, can't. Definitely. You know, so there's no need going through the hassles of fighting someone or everybody can love you you're not a bottle of wine <laughs> <laughs> even a bottle of wine is not loved by everybody yeah. Yeah. it's people who don't like that <laughs> you know, so. mm, okay so before we get into superstar and also talk with the chef who cooks right um let's watch this um video promo we'll be right back 12 mega celebrities Shagun Arinze, King Tonto DK, Monalisa Tinda, Ani Idibia, Angela Okori, Alex Ekubo, Ibn Abon Febrisima, Regina Askia, and many other celebrities and chefs will compete against each other in the first ever celebrity cooking competition. Soup or Stars! Join us at the biggest street party and trade fair with the best of DJs, comedians, and vendors. Come, taste the glory of Africa in her rich array of traditional food varieties and island culture. Be your guest as your finest celebrities present you brunch on Soup of Stars. Friday, 6th of December at Grand Autrium on Lekki AP Expressway, 12 noon prompt. Tickets available at CocoBar.com. For inquiries, call Green at 0805-752-1573 or email SuperStarsMail at gmail.com. SuperStars, S-O-U-P-A-S-T-A-R-S. Mail at gmail.com. Welcome back. Sure. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that. And I'm coming to you. What yeah. is this about? Uh, basically, what this is about, like I said, is a um, superstar. is a celebrity su superstar. So um, we have different teams. Um, I'm representing Team Rivers. Mm -hmm. um, so what team is she representing? 
Guess take a while. Of course, I wouldn't have it any other way. Mm. <laughs> well, that day we're going to see how it's going to play out. Which mm. team is going to win? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you guys are getting competitive already. Of course, because I want to win the um, grand prize. So you're so. telling us about it all, though. Yeah. So basically, um, like I said, there's a celebrity cooking competition where you have upcoming chefs under them and. Um, where we also talk about, we try to encourage healthy eating and all that. So that's what it's about, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at your nails with all this glam. How are you going to cope on that thing? No, are we going to take it up? Don't let this deceive you at all. This has nothing to do with anything. So you're telling us you're a good cook? Do you I'd, like to I'd cook? Like, I'd okay. like for do you, you to, like to cook? You, you just have to wait and see. That's what this is, this is all about, right? Okay, okay, so what's your favorite dish? My favorite, I'm very local when it comes to food, so I, my favorite dish is actually a bankwa. Okay, okay, speaking of your favorite dish, <laughs> so what is the recipe for a bankwa? And yeah, and tell us how you make it step by step. That's that, I don't know if you have so much time on this show for <laughs> that. <laughs> because that's one of the most complicated meals to okay, make. Okay, so what's the recipe? So the recipe, you have cocoa yam, you have water yam, then you have the the leaf, uh, then crayfish, of course, a lot of crayfish, a lot of dry fish, a periwinkle, palm oil, you know, and the rest of the condiment. But the basics that you need is a water yam and the cocoa yam and the leaf that you use to wrap it. Okay, so the way you she's looking I mean, the way she said crayfish, like, eh? No, no, the way she looked at you, like, oh, I'll cook that. I'm going no, to no, win she, with she, your favorite she, meal. No, <laughs> she, I mean, you know, we all have peculiar Fishes. meals that are, yeah. you know, that we are known for as a people. Mm. So, I mean, River State also is very rich. They've got diverse, um, diverse options, yeah. you know. Bole. There's a whole <laughs> lot. I think <laughs> those are things, those are not even the, River State is known for good meals as well, just mm -hmm. like Aquabum State. Mm -hmm. So I think the competition is just going to be, um, really I mean, yeah, I mean let's, let's, let's not give it all out. Let's yeah. save it for the day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, speaking of diets, because, um, you know, you just mentioned, and with all the things you call, they're very, very um, healthy mm -hmm. food. And um, you t so what would you say, do you eat late nights? How do you eat? What is your eating regimen? Uh, but basically, how do you stay so fit? Yeah, exactly. Because Stay you don't... so fit is a constant struggle. Mm. I mean, if you've known me from back in the day, I've always been one who battles with weight a mm. lot. Um, that's just my nature. So it takes extra work. So it's not even... Eating late is... <laughs> I try not to eat late. It's some. It's a bit difficult sometimes. If I have like, if you have like a whole, like a long day, and then you get home, and then you think, oh, I'm not so hungry. I can sleep with, and then you're trying to sleep, and that hunger just comes, and and then you can't sleep because you try to sleep. You've been seeing food, and you've been dreaming of eating with dragons and stuff like that. So you just find yourself getting up, but then you can have something really light. Mm. Yeah. That's why I like my vegetables. You know, I can have a salad, or I can have. Since I like really the native food, I leak a lot of soup. Mm. I just make fresh vegetable soup without oil. Oh, okay. So that way I still have the taste of the local, um, you know, thing in my... Okay, yeah. so is this your first cooking competition? Actually, yes, it is. Hmm. Is this your first? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. No, right, so actually, no, I've done before, but just um, with friends, not mm -hmm. in Lagos. All right, okay. so let's come to you, the chef. What's your favorite dish? To be honest, I don't. I'm a very, I'm very picky with food, but I'm, I'm, just give me good food. What do you like to cook? The most? What do I like to cook? Like the most. The most. Hmm. Okay. Probably my fisherman soup, the reverse fisherman soup mm. recipe. Mm. Fresh fish. I'm looking forward to this day. Fresh I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh wrinkles. Uh huh. In Bolo. Uh huh. We She's counting. Yam. She's counting as well. <laughs> She's we have our own fisherman <laughs> soup, and trust me, it's, it's way it's better. better. It's different. It's way so better. for it us, different. you have yeah. everything in the sea inside. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So. Everything in the sea. Yeah. Shark. So if I want you to make that Shark for me, if, so can, yeah. if I want, oh. if I want you to make that for me, how much would it cost? Well. um, we're going to talk about that. Because I said, you show. guys make a lot of money these Don't days. Don't worry, we're going to talk chefs, about right? it. Yeah, yeah like chefs right. make a lot of money. Everything Am I that right? you do with your hands these days mm. brings you New so money. much money. Mm. So how lucrative would you say being a chef has been for you? I didn't get that How lucrative would you say being a chef has been for you? Well, for now, because I do a full-time job, so what I do is I basically focus on friends and mm. referrals so okay. i just do more of oh i have friends i don't like to cook so over the weekend okay i want this i want this and i make for them I so yeah be your friend 
<laughs> of course you pay. You I really like, of course. I really like to cook. So it's something I do. It's like, that's mm. one thing I don't get tired of doing. Okay, so did you go to school to learn how to cook? No, I think it has to do with upbringing. Absolutely. Mm. Yes, it has to do with upbringing because I'm so picky. Like, I don't eat anything. Mm. I like the way you said absolutely when we spoke about upbringing. So tell us about your upbringing. Were you the type that your mom would be like, ah, Ini, go to the kitchen, go and make this. Were you but, the one cooking for everybody? <laughs> okay, so I grew up in a, in a, in a home of, with three girls, three mm -hmm. siblings, female siblings, and my mom, of course. And cooking is, I kind of like even grew up with my grandmom at some point because mm. we'd always go home for Christmas, for holidays and all that. And my grandmom is someone who, is, who was so into organic food, like straight from the farm into the pods as you're talking and it's already ready. Mm -hmm. Like you're just gisting with her, she's already back from the farm, she's already cooking and you're talking. You wouldn't even, it should be, you'd be like, oh no, I don't want to eat, so I'm, I'm in a hurry. She's like, it's okay. And she's gisting with you before you know what, the food is ready. 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 Yeah. So it's like, fresh from the farm so it, it becomes it's something that we all grew up like you know under that that um, atmosphere mm -hmm. of the fact that look you have to know how to cook because you have to be able to entertain people when you have guests mm. and you know we weren't those kind of people that grew up with so many maids that would do literally everything for you we had you know helps at some point but then you'll have to cook your meals so everybody that went through my home like the kind of upbringing that i had and i think it's very peculiar to our people. We do that a lot. It's very hard for you to find someone who comes from where I come from and then where she comes from as well and then they will tell you they don't know how to cook. It's a bit... Um, shocking. Not shocking, it's, it's, yeah, um, it's just unusual. Mm. Mm. All right, so um, also we need to focus on Soup A Star. This is being put together by Regina Askia and she's also a medical doctor and the sole purpose of doing this according to what I read is um, for healthy living, to avoid diseases like diabetes, obesity, mm -hmm. and all of that. So how do you think this is going to affect the society? Let's forget about the celebrities coming together to mm -hmm. do this now. Or even do the you, prize. Yeah, or the grand prize, because a little bird told us that you guys, whoever wins is going to get a grand prize. And mm -hmm. I can only imagine to have you on it, see, that's to be something, maybe like a private jet, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how do you think this is going to affect the society? And do you think we should do more stuff like this to the people? Because if you look out these days, you see roadside food everywhere, and you just see people buying anything and everything. So let's talk about that. Well, um, I think that's the essence of this whole show. Uh, like you said, Regina is in the medical sector, so it's just very big on health and proper eating, which is what are, one of the things that attracted me to to yeah, accept the invitation to be on board. So, yeah, it would impact people a lot because um, Nigerians are slowly becoming people who would like to eat a lot of preservative foods mm. and, you know, junk food and just ready-to-go meals, which are usually loaded with a lot of toxins and a lot of chemicals. And those are the things that, you know, you know that causes most of the health issues that are very rampant in Nigeria today. So what I, what I intend to do, like in my group, is to use as much organic Mm. and less preservatives as possible and just show people how to make food that is fresh and healthy and very tasteful mm. you know a lot of people i mean we're going to have like um light bites that you can prepare on the uh, on the go that doesn't it's not going to take so much of your time because of people who have time constraints they have to just maybe rush out of the house without eating and then grab whatever whatever they find on the road so we can have like this mini bites meals that you can learn that it wouldn't take you time to prepare say two three minutes if just you know everything is ready and you can yet is healthy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay that question goes for you too so okay um i'm very just like she said when it comes to food i'm a bit very very picky so i don't eat there are things i don't eat i don't eat frozen foods mm. Mm. yeah so live Chicken and um, chicken, fish. So your chicken has to be live. It mm -hmm. has to be live. Mm -hmm. My fish. Point and kill. Yes, my fish. You too. So my no, not I point never, and I kill. I never cook frozen chicken in my house. No, oh. not point and kill. I don't eat. I don't know about point and kill. I eat what and fish from either fresh water or mm -hmm. salt water okay. fish. Mm. Point then, and kill has its own um, chemicals because mm. it's, it's kind of preserved, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it is. So I don't. I don't eat it. In fact, it's I not actually as saw it in Lagos. Wow. Yes, in Port Harcourt, the type we have is from salt water. Mm -hmm. So it's not this point and kill okay. because yes. the fish from fresh and uh, salt water you can't preserve it mm -hmm. the way they do here. So yeah. I'm Tim Fit Farm and. I work out a lot, so I watch what I eat. I don't do junk, I'm that kind of person. So 
yes, this is really good because it's going to tell people more about um, the different foods we have in Nigeria. Because I think that a lot of problem people have is they can they don't know that we have variety, variety. of foods. Mm. So people just focus on rice, rice you know, recycle the same thing. The same thing. So and they're not willing to experiment and all. So that is what this is about. Just to create more awareness, let people know that yeah, there are a whole lot of we have too many options to choose from. Mm -hmm. Okay, our time is going, but I really need to go back to what you do, Nollywood. We are not seeing so much of you in the cinema. Is that deliberate? Uh, hmm. Okay, so I took I took time away for for a bit. I got an appointment in my states, so I was working a lot in my states, and um, I had some other personal things I was sorting out. So I took about three years. I don't know. People didn't really notice. I don't know if, yeah. So I'm just getting back in okay. and just trying to. So I have a couple of projects that we're working on. Hopefully, by God's grace, we should have something out by early next year. Okay. So yeah, I, I did take time. Time. Right. Um, so give today us a, is International okay. Girl Child Day, and I'd like you to say something to every girl child watching you right now. Oh, uh, okay. No. To every girl child watching me, what I would say is, look, you have so much greatness in you. Don't ever let the world tell you that you cannot be what you're destined to be. Um, we, are, we are a great species of people. Like we, we have so much strength and so much to offer the world. I mean, we birth the, whole, the world as it is. So we are all powerful in our own different rights and just Keep your head up and don't let anybody manipulate you into where you don't, or keep you where you don't want to be for any sentimental reasons. Just be the best that you can take every day as a challenge and keep going. There's nothing that is impossible that you cannot achieve if you put your mind to it. All right, so we can't have you on this table and not um, have you give us an exclusive. So tell us something you haven't said any, anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> just anything, just give us an exclusive. That I haven't said anywhere. Anywhere else. I hope we wouldn't be alive because I, would, I, I mean, I don't know. No, you I don't have to lie. Just, just tell us something. It well, could be anything. Just, just give like, us an exclusive. Exclusive to Plus TV Africa. Exclusive to Plus TV Africa. Ah, oh, this one slogan I just gave to my head. I can't see that. <laughs> But it's a something big is coming. Mm. <laughs> something big is coming. Guys, yeah, I mean, um, I, Iniedo has just, um, I'm on a different stage. I just got into a different stage of my life. So mm -hmm. it's a lot to look out for. Mm. And I'm not backing down anytime soon. So there's a lot about me that you guys are going to experience. Mm. Um, and we can't wait to experience I mean, I can't, it. But, I can't um, wait. You know, we, there's a lot to experience, but that's like very, very ambiguous. Ambiguous? Give us <laughs> something we can hold on to and be like, in the end Just know that I have said. That's something so there's a lot. Just, yeah, just, just keep an open mind. Because it's, a, a, it's a lot of other things. I mean, it's a whole lot of things going on. Okay, okay, quickly before we wrap up, I think our time is gone, mm -hmm. but you mentioned, when you're talking about your friends, you mentioned Richie Jumbo, and mm -hmm. there was some very funny conversations going around at one point in time mm -hmm. about the kind of love in the industry. And you've been there for a very long time. So do you think your colleagues in the industry show true love of to themselves love. of fake love? <sighs> these, these, these are not things you can generalize. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I've been blessed with with very good friends who very good colleagues who we don't see each other every day, but we have mutual love and respect for each other. And every time we come together is magic. Mm. So we don't get to talk every time, but whatever we feel for each other is real. When we are in a place, you can feel like it's just nothing but positive energy. That not, not necessarily people who come on social media and show you so much affection. I don't believe in that. Mm. I mean, I don't feel like social media is where you want to show me that you care about me. You know what I mean? When the chips are down, that's when I want to see how much you care. So it's, there's a whole lot of facade going on on social media, like we all know. But I'm just, my circle is very tight. I'm not someone who is very open to a lot of friends. I'm, very, I don't, I'm, I'm very protective of my space. So the few people that I have in my corner, we, you know, we have so much respect for each other. And I really don't look into what other people are doing. But this is just what I would, this is from my own perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, some other people show their loves differently, but 
That's it just doesn't work that way for me. All right, thank you so much. I don't Finally, have more what questions. Should we expect if, uh, from you. <laughs> she on said it already. Finally, Finally. Hmm. Mm. just watch out for. All right, Shimansu. that's how we wrap right. up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And like I always say, you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to Michael and Kelsey Feli Washington. Okay, Ewa we to the entire production <laughs> team and of course our guest Iniedo and Chef Bene. Thank you for being here. Thank My you. name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.